Dickomancy. Divination by Passages from Moby Dick. We're going to do this today, and we're going to do this on my live on Sunday. This is a Cards Against Humanity type game, except they use Passages from Moby Dick, and it's wonderful. It's especially good for divination because that big, deep, mystical, magical book always seems to have the answer. I did a book tour for my first two books, and I asked people all along the way to divination with Moby Dick, and it was amazing, the number of synchronicities, and it was just what they needed to hear. So pause here, think of a question, usually the first question in your life that comes to mind, and for the first 10 people who leave some kind of comment, like uh, DM for Dickomancy or their favorite number, I will do, I'll pull a card for you and put it in the, in the comments. Uh, for now, the card that jumped out as I was doing this was from chapter 85, The Fountain, and it says, a surplus supply of drink. And this is from a passage where it's the camel going across the desert and how it has a uh, surplus supply of water in its hump. But Moby Dick is, uh, Melville is using that as a metaphor for the whale and its lungs. Because when the whale comes up to breathe, it keeps a really regular rhythm, which is maybe something we can all learn from. When it comes up for 11 minutes and takes 71 breaths, it will do that every time. In between it going back down to the depths to hunt, it is very regular in what it does. And so also a surplus supply of drink. It's my uh, three month mark with no drinking since this year. Uh, so I think of that as well. But I think the answer to your question out there might be something about you having all the water you need inside you. The stuff that you need, you, you have it right here. And you can be like a camel crossing the desert. You've got what you need and it's good to cross the camel, the desert with other camels, but you've got your own supply of drink.